Okay, for this video I'm going to explain how to do um, looping or iteration using uh, ArcGIS 10. And uh, the first way I'll explain uh, how you can do that is in Model Builder. And so I have this, um, I have the state of Puebla here, and I have this one municipio or municipal boundary uh, called Zacatlan. And um, what I want to do is I have a whole bunch of data from uh, some various um, various species of distribution data uh, for for different species that are um, in risk of extinction or otherwise protected in the state of Puebla. And so I want to clip those um, those species the distribution areas to the uh, municipal boundary of Zacatlan. And so in order to do that, um, I'll explain how to do that in Model Builder here. So if we open up Model, model Builder, um, the first thing that we'll do is pull in this tool called an iterator. And that's basically how we can um, do just basically the same process over uh, multiple uh, files. So I'll pick Iterate fe Feature Classes. And then I'll also pull in the, the clipping tool. And so first what we'll do is we'll connect to the, the files of the um, basically the geodatabase that contains all of the distribution areas for the different species. And that's this one here. And then I'll select for the feature type, I'll select Polygon. And press OK. And then you can see that these colors change, uh, which means that this part of the tool is now activated. And I'm going to connect um, the output of this tool to the input of the Clip tool. And then open up Clip. And then I will see that uh, I want to choose my clipping features. And I'm going to pick the municipal boundary of Zacatlan. And for the output feature class, I'm going to choose, uh, I'm going to put in percent name percent to basically this this will allow me to get the um, the name from each of the shape uh, files that comes out. And then I'll also um, put in something so that I know that it's from for Zucketlon. <coughs> and then press save and press OK. I can use this button, this auto layout button, to make make it so I can see all the different parts of the the model. And now you can see that all the the colors are filled in. And uh, so before I run it, I will validate the entire model just to check it. And then I see that there's nothing doesn't come up with any errors, so I can run the entire model. And so now. Uh, it's basically running through and looking at all of those different um, uh, layers and then clipping them to the um, municipal boundary of Zacatlan. And so then some of those layers actually will be uh, it's showing me that some of them will be empty because they don't contain an area that uh, is basically overlaps with the municipio of Zacatlan. And so it ran through all of those, and I'll minimize this, and if I go down to this, um, this geodatabase here, you'll see that the output has a whole bunch of um, new shape files with uh, the municipio or the municipal boundary of Zacatlan. So I can pull some of those into the map. And you can see if we zoom in on this area, there's that one. That one may be empty. 
this one to part up here. That one there. So, yeah, it's a nice way of quickly uh, using Model Builder. It's a nice way of quickly kind of pulling in uh, this iterate feature to uh, iterate feature classes to to basically make this process quite a bit faster than if you were to have to do each one by hand.